Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Looky what I found at Joanne Fabrics. Fat Fab. I found this at a craft store. It is called Ink Sinker. It is by Art Resin. Let me just read the back to you. Squeeze desired amount into mixed art resin. Won't be using art resin, but resin. When applied over colored alcohol ink submerged within resin, Ink Sinker will push the color through the resin in squiggly streams. Listen, I have achieved what I call lava lamp alcohol ink effect, maybe like a few times, but honestly, I've been with you. You guys have always asked me, how do you do that? I don't know. My honest answer is I don't know. I've only like just lucked out and got it to happen. So how do you get your alcohol ink to sink in resin, white alcohol ink is what makes alcohol, like colors, rainbowy colors of alcohol ink. Hank? That sounds a little scary. <laughs> I don't want to know who alcohol Hank is. No, thank you. If you were to ask me how to get alcohol inks to sink in resin, I would say white alcohol ink is how you do it. But this specifically is called ink sinker. It's, its purpose in its existence is to make your alcohol inks, what does it say? Let me read it word for word. Its purpose is to push the color through the resin in squiggly streams. That's what it, this is supposed to do. So we're gonna test this out. I'm gonna see if this actually works. And we've even got some clear molds. We're gonna be able to watch this. I'm so excited. We're gonna get started and we're gonna find out if ink sinker is the answer to all of our problems. Okay. I'm gonna be mixing up some counterculture DIY casting resin. And I think we're gonna mix up like just the exact amount to fill these up. I think I'm gonna just fill them. Yeah, yeah. yeah they'll be fine. You're not supposed to like fill up too oh. high or to get too hot. But I I feel like these are small enough where that it's fine. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It should be fine. And then I also have this set of neons that I want to try. I want to do like a rainbow. Watch this just be white alcohol ink. <laughs> Honestly, I have a feeling. <laughs> ink sinker is an alcohol ink itself. <sighs> I will be using gloves. I will be wearing a respirator and we have ventilation. I suggest that you do all of these same things if you're going to work with resin as well. Let's get started. Okay, so last second I decided that we're going to test the difference between ink sinker and the alcohol ink that I always used before, just to see if there's a difference. So the big one's gonna have ink sinker, the smaller one's gonna have the alcohol ink that I always used before.
Marcus. Sing your body move. All right, you guys. It is a couple days later. We're going to pop these out. I already have some feelings, but I will wait. I think I'm going to try this trick that I saw on Instagram where people like pour. They open up the mold a little bit and then they pour water in there. All right. Let me just open it up a little bit. Get some water in there. Okay. I don't know, guys. Does this make it more <laughs> difficult? Because <laughs> it's like slippery now. <laughs> Sheesh. Oh my god. Okay. So here is what this one looks like. And just to refresh everyone's memory, this is the ink sinker one. And it definitely, it definitely, you know, did something. Obviously, like, the ink sinker is basically, like, taken over the entire piece. So I guess you could say, yeah, it does make the ink sink, but I don't know if you remember how many colors I put into it. All I'm really seeing is like pink, greenish, yellow. Like I'm not really seeing any purple or blue, like it's not rainbowy. And it definitely isn't like squiggly streams, like it says it was gonna be. This is basically just like, I don't know, like the ink sank. It doesn't look like squiggly streams to me. So we're gonna pop out the smaller one and then we will discuss the next step. So anyway, I'm gonna hopefully have an easier time. Ugh, gosh, okay. Whoa! Look <laughs> how squishy the tip is. Oh my god. It's because of all the alcohol ink that we put in here. All the white just sank straight to the very tip. But I will say I like the effect of this one much more. This one kind of just has like a that smoky kind of look in my opinion. Like again, it's not the lava lamp or squiggly streams look. Besides the tip being all white alcohol ink and squishy, I like this one more. I like that you can see into this one and it's not just like solid alcohol ink. You know what I mean? It is also interesting that both of them, there's a little purple here, but for the most part, they're the same colors. They're like a green, yellow, and pink. None of the other colors really went down. So here's what I'm thinking and feeling. I don't like how either of them came out. And I also can't really decide with... Uh, I feel like these are bad examples. So I kind of want to do it again. And this time, I want to do the same comparison that I did with the alcohol ink that I always used before. You can tell that I always use this because it is nasty. So I want to compare that with ink sinker again. The difference that I wanna make is that I want to do possibly more colored alcohol ink and then a one layer of the white alcohol ink for both and just see which one sinks more. So I will be back to you when we've got resin mixed up and we poured it like we're gonna skip all of the boring stuff right up until the alcohol ink part. Oh righty. So for this round of experiments, what I did was I added three to four drops of each color. So I did like pink, purple, and blue. So three drops of each color into both and then one layer of the ink sinker in the larger mold and then one layer of white ranger alcohol ink in the smaller. All right, y'all, it is 24 hours later. Let's pop these out. Wow! Sheesh. That was, that was super nice. Okay, here we go. This is Ink Sinker, and if you'll remember, we did a bunch of drops of the colored alcohol ink and then literally one go of the ink sinker. It does look a lot better, like a lot less, you know, completely taken over by the white alcohol ink or the ink sinker rather, but it's still just like white. Like it, 
it barely took any of the color down with it. I mean, it's a pretty pastel and it does look like really cool and like smoky, but what I call this squiggly streams, I don't know. I feel like I could get this with just regular white alcohol ink. This section right here is very cool. So let's pop out the smaller one that has white alcohol ink in it. That's super nice to do. <gasps> oh, wow. Sheesh. What the heck? Whoa. Okay. Okay. The, wow. This one's so cool looking. The tip once again is wet and squishy, even though I did one go of white alcohol ink. I guess it was still too much, but check out the inside. Oh no. I love that so much. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Once again though, it didn't really take any of like the colors down. It's just kind of white alcohol ink. The effect of this is really, really cool. Like so smoky and wispy. I would call this wispy, you know? Woo! Oh my God, I love this one. Okay, so let's talk about our results. So for the smaller ones, the alcohol ink one, not ink sinker. I'm pretty sure this is Ranger white alcohol ink. Definitely one go of the white alcohol ink was so much better than doing like a million layers like this one. This is so cool looking. This one I only did like purple, pink, and blue because this one only pulled out of the rainbow of colors. Only pulled like a green and like kind of a pink, but it's mostly like yellowy green pink. They're definitely like a wispy, smoky kind of look. Obviously I like this one more, but it is weird that we got squishy alcohol ink tips on both of them. Makes sense for this one because we did so much white alcohol ink, but this one is also squishy and like wet actually. On to the bigger ones that are ink sinker. This one has way too much. This one has way too much of like literally everything. Like I just don't, it's completely taken over. It, I mean, it looks cool. Like it's a really pretty like blended kind of pastel, again, wispy, um, smoky kind of look. Definitely not squiggly streams in my opinion. So this is what the first ink sinker looks like where we just did we just went in. And then for this one, the second one, we did many layers of colored alcohol ink and one pass, one go of the ink sinker. And this is how it looks. It's still so full. It's a lot cooler in my opinion than the first one. Like this section right here, beautiful. What I call is squiggly streams, no. And if you're like, well, Heather, shut up. What does squiggly streams even look like in resin? It looks like this. This is what squiggly streams, in my opinion, looks like in resin. And this pulled the colored alcohol ink as well. I'm just gonna insert a close-up shot of this thing so that you guys can really see it. But this is what I consider like lava lamp effect, squiggly streams in resin. It's exactly that. And so this, what you're looking at right now, is what I have been trying to achieve. And I thought that that this you know, ink sinker was gonna be able to do this. While I am a big fan of the smoky, you know, like wispy look for alcohol ink, like this is beautiful, love it. But if we're trying to achieve squiggly streams like this, that's just not it. So here's what I think. I'm not ready to write off ink sinker. I'm not ready to say that it doesn't work. I am definitely not saying that. Because all we really did was try it with one type of resin. We also only tried it with one kind of, like one brand of alcohol ink. When I did this, I believe I was using Ranger colored alcohol ink and then Ranger white alcohol ink to make the colors sink. So I kind of want to get those and put it up against ink sinker with Ranger alcohol inks because the alcohol ink that I used for this video that you're watching right now is Bria Reese. So I'm wondering if this right here might be the problem. I don't know. I don't know for sure. Like I really love Bria Reese alcohol inks, but I'm wondering if that's why the colors didn't really sync with these. Cause I'm pretty sure when I made this little cup thing, I used the same resin that I used for this video. So when I try and think of what the problem might be, I don't know. I'm leaning towards possibly 
the colored alcohol ink. So, so if you want me to test this again with a different brand of colored alcohol ink, let me know in the comments. Obviously, I, you know, I'm never going to knock any kind of brand. Like I said, Brie Reese, love, love, love their alcohol inks and stuff. But, you know, this is a test and I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you guys about the results of it. I'm just trying to show you my, my findings and help you guys along in your own craft. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments, what you think may have been the problem. If you think I'm wrong, I would love to hear your thoughts. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel and my vlog channel, which is not so artsy. You can follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok. It is at Artsy Madwoman. We have merch. This is what some of it looks like. I drew it all up myself. The link to the merch is down in the description, along with the link to become a member of this channel where I do bonus videos, bonus content of all sorts. The link for that is down in the description. I love you guys to absolute death, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.